I am Anil Kumar. Let us see how to add rational numbers. We need to evaluate minus of within brackets minus 4 over 3 plus 2 over minus 15 minus minus 3 over 4 plus 3 over 4 plus minus 3 over minus 10. Okay. Now let's do the part in the brackets individually. Minus, we'll just keep that negative here. Now, 3 and minus 15, the denominator, you could take minus 15 as common denominator, right? Or, in this case, what should you do? You could actually take care of the sign and make this positive as negative 15. You could do that also. So there are a couple of ways in which it could be done. So first step, let's keep minus 15 as our common denominator. Now, to make this minus 15, I have to multiply this by what? Minus 5, correct? So to make this minus 15, I have to multiply both these terms by minus 5, both the terms. So if I do minus 5 times minus 4, I get plus 20. So we get plus 20 in the numerator. Right? Minus 5 times 3 gives us minus 15. Now here we already have minus 15, so we'll just keep 2. So we get plus 2 here. So I hope that makes sense, right? Now in this case, minus gets multiplied with minus, so we get plus 3 over 4. Now let's do this part, which is we have to add. Now, minus and minus makes it positive, correct? You have to find the common denominator. Common denominator is 20. So, to make 20, I will multiply both of them, the first numbers, by 5. And second numbers by 2, correct? So, what I get here, 5 times 3, 15, and 5 times 4 as 20. Minus and minus becomes positive, already positive. 3 times 2, 6, and 10 times 2, 20. Does it make sense? Correct? So, there are two ways to write. One, keep them separate or common denominator. Both are correct. Okay? So, let's simplify this. So, we have minus and minus. That makes it positive. 22 over 15. Now here we have plus 3 over 4 and then 20 is a common denominator and we get 15 plus 6 which is 21. Correct? So that becomes three different fractions or rational numbers to be added. Now we need to find what is LCM. To find the LCM, there are different methods. The LCM, as you know, is 60. But I'm trying to show you here how to calculate LCM. So the numbers here are 15, 4, and 20. What we can do is that we can uh, divide each by 5. Now, you cannot divide 4, so keep 4 as such. So 5 times 3 is 15. 1 and 5 times, I mean 4. 5 times 4 is 20. You cannot divide 4, so keep it. Now we can divide two numbers by 4. So we'll divide by 4. 3 will not be divided. Keep 3 as such and we get 1 time 1. Okay. So the LCM is, as you can see, 5 times 4 times 3, which is 60. So the LCM common denominator should be 20. Now I prefer to write, I mean 60. I prefer to write 60 as a common denominator as I did in the first case, but some students get confused. So I'll show you how to continue further. To make 60, I'm going to multiply this by 3, both, right? So when I write 5, it means multiply by both. Here we are going to multiply by 15 to make it 60. And here, we are going to multiply by 4. Once you do that, 
then all the denominators are 60 correct so all denominators are 60 that is what we say when we say common denominator i hope the step is clear now let's multiply numerators 4 times 22 is 88 15 times 3 is 45 and 21 times 3 is 63 correct so you could write this as common denominator of 60 and the numerator is add them correct 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 8 16 6 1 7 plus 4 11 11 plus 8 is 19 so we get 196 over 60 now it is a good practice to simplify it so we could actually divide it by 2 and uh, can we divide by 4 4 times 2 is 8 and 16 it can be divided so we could divide both by 4 let's divide by 4 so 4 times 4 is 16 and 4 times 9 is 36 here 4 times 1 is 4 and 5 gives us 15 so we get 49 over 15 as our result now 49 over 15 could be written as mixed numbers so let me first write this answer as 49 over 15. now some of you will prefer to write this as mixed numbers so let's divide 49 by 15 correct so when you do that 49 times 3 is 45 we get 4 as our remainder so I could also write this as 3 whole 4 over 15 do you see that so that is my final answer 3 whole 4 over 15 so I hope the steps are clear these steps should be followed to do the required operations for such rational numbers Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.